Eli Drakewich joins us now on the program. And, uh, Coach, listen, I appreciate you, you being with us on this night. And I, I, I felt like it was such an opportunity for you and your group to show America what you're building. You talk about an elite edge and a dirty, hard-working brotherhood. That last 15 minutes of football is as good an advertisement for that as you possibly could show anyone. What, what do those 15 minutes say about who y'all are? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it speaks to exactly who we are. You know, every day uh, we, we finish our practice with our fist up and we play Eye of the Tiger, and it stands for faster, stronger, tougher than you in the fourth quarter. And for us to get to the fourth quarter down three and score 14 points unanswered, to never, you know, never give in to uh, the disappointments of not scoring or blaming each other, I think is just a tribute to the brotherhood that we have a tribute to our coaching staff sticking together and man you can't say enough about a guy like Cody Schrader he's got to be the best story in the country uh, I can't believe Jim Nagy hadn't put him in the senior bowl yet but uh, that's a whole nother conversation yeah you uh, you you mentioned Schrader it's in basketball I love when they have senior night and it goes the right way for the home team and you get to take your guy out you're going nuts when you took seven off the field well, that moment, yeah. and it's it's too long a story for people that don't know, but just th what goes into that moment when you get to hug that guy as a thank you for all he's given your university? This team, does, this season doesn't happen without Cody Schrader, uh, his leadership. Uh, the team captain refuses to do anything but give his all. You know, we have a sign in our locker room that says, when others, when the weakest choose to run we move we uh, come shoulder to shoulder and move forward together and that's cody schrader um that's brady cook that's luther burden that's darius robinson that's uh theo lee said xavier delgado javon foster jc carlisle chris Avery drain separated his shoulder i told him hey you're done for the game he said the hell i am put his shoulder pads <laughs> on and went back out the fourth quarter to play for his teammates um i will say this like you said it all week we had a theme and it was showtime it wasn't about being flashy and all that. It was about showing the rest of the world who we really are and what we're really about. And I can't think of a better way for that to happen than in the fourth quarter for us to show the rest of the world uh, what it means. Uh, our, our team chaplain talked about a wilderness brotherhood last night, not a blue blood brotherhood, a wilderness brotherhood that was formed uh, in the deepest, darkest places uh, where you had to really believe and fight for each other. And that's what should happen tonight for sure. I was in church the other day, Christmas services. You talk about faith, and it's a belief in the unseen. And, and, and uh, you know, I, I, I'm not trying to be sacrilegious and compare that to football, but just follow me along in this yeah. analogy here. You don't have a point on the board, and you're 95 yards from the end zone when that first touchdown drive starts. you got to have faith in your guys. When you have that faith, yeah, Eli, and then it's, and then it's yeah, rewarded. Right. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Well, this right here is a slingshot. I carried it with me. Uh, our our a guy in our building gave this to me. He said, Coach, if you're going to coach at Mizzou, you're going to have to take down some teams with a slingshot. And I, I showed this to our team in pregame. I carried it with me all game. 95 yards away, man, all you got to do is rely on your training, trust in the execution. I told Brady before the don't press, just relax, go out and execute one play at a time. Our defense is playing lights out. And uh, he just picked up his stone and he – World, this thing around. You took him out. <laughs> I was going to say, he had a heck, heck of a pass to Marquise Johnson. Yeah, it, he sure. Well, that was that play turns the game around. Then he threw it. I mean, I, I don't know if you've seen the replay of the dot he threw to Burden in the end zone, but my goodness, I mean, and that was it. Felt like that was important too because he's been such an such an important piece to get right to to, to get him to come yeah. to Columbia, and then he's been so important to you guys all season long. And it, it, it feels like you don't win this game without him either, do you? No, we had to have Luther. You know, we, we said going into the game, be aggressive. And it was fourth and one right there, and we could have kicked the field goal to make it a seven-point game. And I got on the headset and told Blake and said, have my back here. I'm going to go for it. And he said, trust your gut, be aggressive. And so I went down there and I said, Kirby, let's run horse and, and let's uh, put the ball in Kirby's or in, uh, Cody, or in uh, Brady's hands. And we converted that. And then uh, Kirby had this play dialed up all week, and, and we knew it was a touchdown as soon as it was called.
I appreciate your approach, and I and I get all that you all you're talking about here. It was on display tonight, right? You talk about the things you believe, and you put you, you got signs in the locker room, and all that's great. But ultimately, you got to win games, okay? Like you know that you got to win games, or none of that means anything. What what, what does yeah. tonight do to cap off this season to allow you to take it beyond what it is right now? As you and I are talking to something even bigger than this. Yeah, well, since we've been talking about faith, it says in the Bible, faith without works is dead. And I've been selling about three years of faith without much works. <laughs> now this year we're showing actions that are tangible results of the things that we believe in. And I think that's just the, the, the springboard. You know, I said after the Kentucky game, why stop now? And that's my approach in everything we're doing. We're trying to some, uh, get some guys out of the transfer portal. I spent most of my uh, first parts of every practice FaceTiming some 25s that we need to get to play for us in the future, we're not going to stop. You know, nobody's waiting for Missouri to take their spot in college football. We got to go kick the door down. And that's what we're trying to do right now. And uh, this was an opportunity for us to be on that biggest stage and, and show the rest of the world that, that we can play here uh, and we belong here. Coach, you got to be careful. You keep doing stuff like this, you're going to have other coaches out there picking up slingshots and can, trying to find a stone to come take you guys down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, hey, they better be tough as crap, and they better show up for four quarters if they think they're going to do that because our guys are, are going to have a stubborn refusal to quit, uh, and uh, it's going to be a battle. We, might, we are not always going to win them, but it's sure going to be a battle. Right on, Coach. Uh, congratulations on what was I, – I, I must have watched basically every game you all played. It felt like I saw a bunch of it, and it was incredibly entertaining. Tonight it was, felt like as hard a fought victory as you got. What a way to cap it off. I wish you a happy new year, good health, and all the blessings uh, to you and your family in the offseason, all right? Hey, thanks for having me on, SVP and M-I-Z. Yes, indeed. Eli Drakowitz and the Missouri Tigers are winners tonight in the Cotton Bowl. They're going to celebrate that one. You see the